What's up guys, Travis here. Welcome back to yet another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. So happy to see you guys over here. Well, in this video, I'll be talking about the type of notes that you guys should really, really understand before jumping into color grading. So without further ado, let me just roll the intro really quickly and jump straight into DaVinci Resolve. Before I jump into DaVinci Resolve, I'm just gonna quickly brief you about the types of note that I'm gonna cover in this video. The first note is the serial note, second note is the parallel note, and the third note is the layer mixer, and the fourth note is called the outside note. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and explain it over there. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve and under the color page, the first thing I wanna say is thank you to MOC Filmmaker for letting us use your sample footages. All right, so the first note I'm gonna talk about is the serial note. The serial note is very similar like an adjustment layer in Photoshop or Adobe Premiere Pro. So what you can do in a serial note over here is that you can do whatever contrast, all right? You can do some gain, you can do some gamma, leaf or even shadows mid-tone and highlights so basically it's just like an adjustment layer where you can do all of your gradings over here so now let me show you how to create another serial node under the node tree over here the first way is to hit the alternate s on your keyboard this is the shortcut key to create a node if you're still unfamiliar with all the keyboard shortcuts you can just right click on the first node over here right click and add node add serial node. So these are the same type of nodes that I'm creating over here. All right, so as simple as that, this is the serial node. It's very basic, it's just like an adjustment layer. All right, so the second type of node in DaVinci Resolve is called the parallel node. So let me just create a new serial node, all right? And in the second node over here, we are gonna create a parallel node. All right, so this is how the parallel node looks like. And just a little quick tip over here, just try to remember the icon over here. This represents parallel node, all right? So what parallel node does is to take the original clip over here and separate it out into two nodes. Now these two nodes over here, they are actually mixed together to create a final output over here. The simplest way to explain a parallel node is by doing this for you guys to see. All right, so I have a mask over here. Oops, I have a mask over here. Let me just create a blue color, All right? Let me just unfeather this thing. And in the top layer, I'm gonna do another mask. I'll place it over here. All right, let's unfeather this. And maybe we will add red into this node. Right. Okay, so you can see over here, these two nodes over here mixed together to get pink in the final output. Right. So it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to add a third parallel node over here. Let me just quickly add a third parallel node. Okay. So once you have three nodes together over here, it's like dividing a single clip into three. So this node over here is 33.3%, this node is 33.3% and so on. So let me just add another color over here for you to understand it even further. Okay, so let me just add in green color. All right, so as you can see, these three nodes now are mixing together and the output of this tree node looks like this. As you can see, the blue channel mixed with some orange, you will get pink, and the orange and the green color, you will get some something yellow, I guess. And the blue plus the green color, you will get something lighter blue. And the middle is the, all these three colors mixing up together. All right, uh, I hope you understand the parallel node. Okay, so the next node that I'm gonna do is the layer mixer let me just quickly delete all of this all right so um let me 
Alright, so now let's move on to the layer mixer by creating another serial node. You can create the layer mixer quickly by hitting the alternate L on your keyboard. And this is the icon. Like I said, please remember all of these icons so you won't get messed up in your um, editing process. Alright, so the layer mixer is pretty much more simpler than the parallel mixer. What it does is, as you can see over here, the bottom node is always overlapping on the top node. So it should look like this. All right, so let me just reset this quickly. Okay, so just remember that every single node that is below is actually overlapping the one on the top. All right, so let me quickly uh, show you an example of the layer node. Let us just create a mask. All right, in this mask, I'm going to add in blue color. And on the top node over here, we're going to create another mask and we're going to place it over here. Okay, in this mask, I'm going to add red. All right, so as you can see, the bottom layer, the blue is overlapping the top node over here, which is the orange color and it's not mixing with each other. All right, so let me just create another layer. All right, so I've created another layer mixer over here. Now, just a simple question to you. Why are we not able to see the blue color node and the orange color node? It's very simple. Like I said before, because this node over here is actually overlapping the two above. All right, so in Premiere Pro, you can imagine the nodes are being placed like that. Okay, so this is your top layer. This is your second layer and this is your third adjustment layer. What I'm going to do over here is actually just create another mask. Okay, let me just decrease the feather and place it over here and um, add green color to it. All right. So as you can see now, the green color is overlapping the blue color. And of course, the blue color is overlapping the orange color. So right now you have the basic idea of what a layer node does. And of course, if you watch to the end of this video, I will be using all type of nodes to color grade this wonderful footage over here. All right, so let me just quickly delete all of these nodes over here. All right, so the next node that I'm going to talk about is the node called outside node. You can create this node by hitting the alternate O on your keyboard and this will create an outside node. Or you can actually right click over here, add node, add an outside node. All right. So as you can see, the blue line over here indicates that these two nodes are actually linking to each other. Whatever color grading that you do over here, it will do opposite on the outside node. So for example, let's do a simple vignette by hitting the mask tool, All right? Let's do a vignette and invert it. As you can see the node over here, the first node is selecting whatever is outside the mask. And the opposite of it is selecting everything that is within the mask. All right, so let me just quickly vignette this. Okay, let me just link this up. As you can see over here, it's only affecting the outside of the mask. And what you can do over here, it's already pre-selected for you. Let's say you want to brighten up this area over here. You can go to the second node and let's increase the brightness within the mask. As simple as that. All right, so now you have understand the four main types of nodes in DaVinci Resolve. So now let's put in into practice. All right, so welcome back to DaVinci Resolve. We are now ready to color grade this footage by using the four types of nodes that I've mentioned or explained earlier in this video. Let us not touch the first serial node and let's create another serial node by hitting the alternate S. All right. In this node, we are going to do some primary colors. So I will name it primary. So in this node, we are going to begin with some color correcting by increasing some contrast or some leaf, gamma and gain and white balance and stuff like that. So first off, let's increase the contrast and then let's try to white balance the footage by clicking the white balance tool over here. I believe that the shirt is white. So let's just click the white area. All right now it's a little bit too green so i'll increase the magenta color 
just by a little bit. Alright, so now let's go to the parade diagram over here. As you can see, the blacks are not really touching the zero yet. So let's go to shadows and let's decrease the shadow by a little bit. Alright. Now the footage is looking good. I'm pretty happy with how it looks right now. So the next node that we're going to do is a layer mixer. So we are going to create another serial node. Let's create a layer mixer by hitting alternate L. So if you still remember what I said earlier in this video, the bottom node in a layer mixer is always overlapping the top node. So now I'm going to use the layer mixer to isolate some colors like the skin tone. So we are going to use the qualifier tool over here and just select the skin tone color. All right, we can hit shift H to see where we have selected. As you can see over here, the skin tone is now selected, but it's not very accurate yet. So let me just do some fine tuning. All right, pretty good. Let's do some blur radius just to soften out the edge. All right, so now what you can do in this node is that you can actually correct the skin tone. We can go to the bottom right corner and select vector scope. And under this setting icon, just click it and you can actually check this skin tone indicator so that you can see where your skin tone color lies. Now it's a little bit towards yellow. So now we are going to color correct the skin tone. So let us just zoom in a little bit. All right. And then now we are going to use the curves. And under these little dots over here, we're going to search for hue versus hue. All right. In the second dot. And then we are going to select the skin color somewhere around here. All right. And now we are going to color correct the skin tone. Once you have done, you can hit shift H to deselect the mask. And the skin tone color is now properly corrected without affecting the other colors. And now what we are going to do with the top node over here, we are going to cool down the color of the water. We can do it simply by adjusting the temperature, just make it cooler a little bit. All right, as you can see, the skin tone is not affected because as you remember, the bottom of the node over here is always overlapping the top node. All right. Okay, so let's move on to the next node. The next node that we're going to create is called the parallel node. So let us just create a serial node and convert it into a parallel node. All right, so in the sixth node over here, we are going to do some subject pop. So we are going to name it as subject pop. All right, we're going to pop up the subject a little bit more so we can focus our eyes on the subject. In this node over here, we're going to create a circle window. Let's click the circle. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right. And we're going to mask the subject out. And let's give it a little bit of feathering. And after selecting the mask, we're going to increase the saturation just by a little bit. Maybe around 60, it will look good. All right. Okay, so now in the seventh node, we are going to do some vignetting. So let's name it vignette. So the same thing, we're going to do a circle window. Let's hit the circle and let's expand the mask. And let's give it a tons of feathering. All right. Okay, then we are going to invert the mask. Then we are going to the curve section under the first dot and we will bring the brightness down a little bit. All right. Now that I've created the vignette, but the subject is still not popping out. So now let's do an outside node by hitting the alternate O. All right. And now let's come back to the curves. Under these three dots over here, just click it and check the editable splines. All right. And now what we're going to do is to click the dot over here and just bring up the brightness a little bit. All right, as well as the bottom dot and let's bring down the brightness. 
Alright, so now we have completed grading our footages by using these four types of nodes. Let's just take a look back to see what we have done over here. Alright, so what we did in the first serial node over here, we add in some contrast and some white balance adjustment. And then we went to the layer mixer whereby we color correct the skin tone. Alright, and then on the top node over here, we did some color correcting for the color of the water. Right now it's looking a little bit blue and then we create another serial node and convert it into parallel node. The first parallel node that we did was to pop up the subject by um, increasing some saturation. As you can see over here, just very subtle. I hope that you can see in this small screen and then we create some vignette. All right, then we create an outside node of this vignette to pop up the brightness of the subject. Alright, so that's it. I hope you understand the four types of nodes in DaVinci Resolve. In my next video, I'll be showing you guys how to build the perfect node tree structure. So each time you start a new project, you do not have to start all over again, building those nodes, stuff like that. And it also will help you to speed up your workflow during editing those clips. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell so each time I upload a video, you will get notified. As always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.